<laughs> all right, we now have a special Super Bowl edition of Pop News, and Sarah Haynes is all over it. I with brought a, costumes. With a funny hat. I brought food. You can never complain Just again. Boy, and yes. when it comes to predicting the winner of the Super Bowl, you can either listen to the experts or you can listen to the animals. Altogether, 11 animals have used their psychic powers around the country. One of our favorites is Eli the Ape from Salt Lake City. He's going for a seventh straight year of cur correct predictions. This year, he clearly believes it'll be a Seattle victory. But in Tennessee... Wait, so if he knocks it over, that's good? Or? That's a good thing. Okay. I mean, that's what he thinks he's going to win. Choice, and we sir. can't forget the famous groundhog Chattanooga Chuck used his oh, yeah, forecasting him, skills yeah. to predict the Broncos. Does he predict and the end of winter, too, or just he's only He's never gotten player. that right, but okay. the Super Bowl's a different game. Yeah. Yeah. But out of the whole list of 11 animals who've used their psychic powers, here's the okay. final tally. That's seven for dinner. D dinner. Dinner? Yeah, right. <laughs> and they're coming to dinner. <laughs> seven for din Denver and four for Seattle. So if that's any indicator, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, against yeah. your prediction. That's, that's yeah. a, I don't know, is that more or less reliable than, than be honest? That's prediction. my prediction. Yeah. I am so reliable. I'm going to go with the animals. So all right now that we know who's going to win the next logical thing to ponder is what would the Super Bowl look like as a mini bowl luckily the folks at Lego have unveiled their own model of MetLife Stadium it's filled with 1200 tiny football fans and you can see some are waving flags other are eating corn dogs it took more than 440 hours to build the replica using 15,000 bricks seriously now to a Super Bowl version of Frank Sinatra's New York New York these first graders have become hometown heroes after the Seattle Seahawks posted their video on Facebook. Cueing our own kick line. Big props to the teachers who organized this video, Mrs. Stone and Mrs. Burke. Yes. And now for your favorite part, guys. It wouldn't be a Super Bowl without some delicious snacks. Ooh, nice. Chef Eric Borgia is the executive chef at Delaware North Sports Service. He's the man behind all the game day delicacies at MetLife Stadium. And he told us he wanted to show off the, new, the best of New York and New Jersey's food scene. We wanted this to feel like the New York Street Festival as you're coming into the building. Chef Eric has been good enough to deliver us with some of the sandwiches folks will be snacking on. At the game, first is the kitchen sink sandwich. It's got hot dogs and sausage, fried peppers, still going, yeah. onions, potatoes, Whoa. creamy vinegar-based dressing. Next is a corned beef hoagie and Nana Fusco's meatball hoagie. How do you eat with two foam hands on? Is that well, we'd like to see you try. I'm gonna, oh, I'll feed you, Dan Harris. Hands, huh? But we'll have all these recipes mm. on our website, goodmorningamerica.com, on Yahoo. And we'd also like to give a big thank you to our friends at 47 Brand for our supporter hats. They're a family-run business and a licensed partner of the NFL, and they helped out earlier in the week, too. So they've outfitted us today. Hey, and they, and they fed us. We were really spoiled today this morning. I can't understand what you're saying. I need the sugar. What is she talking about? The morning. If you keep Ron right. eating, he yeah. won't complain, so just feed him. You've outdone yourself this morning. Yeah, thank great you, Sarah. Job. That was Sarah. a great Super Thanks. Bowl yeah. pop news, and the food is excellent. Woo! We appreciate it. The hat was fetching. We'll be, we'll be right back with more GMA. Keep it here as we uh, eat. I brought you a cookie, Dad. Oh. Ooh.